Hey everybody, I'm Wax Steven, and I'm the GM of Doom. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a character in the Judge Dread in the worlds of 2000 AD tabletop role-playing game. I'm pretty excited. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get started. One of the things that I think a lot of people might be worried about is uh, looking at the character sheet. They might be a little intimidated. They might be a little confused. Oh, where do I put everything? But don't worry. There is a handy-dandy little walkthrough in the book that will describe step-by-step -step on how to make a character. And once you get acclimated to it, you can create a character within you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it's very possible. And I think today, our main goal is going to be to focus on walking you through step-by-step, -step, following through that walkthrough so that you know where to put everything on your sheet and to just kind of help you along. So let's get started. If we take a look at the walkthrough section of the book, we'll notice that uh, it's, again, got step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a character. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we've got a few supplies. We definitely are going to need the actual book itself. We're going to need some six-sided die and we're going to need a character sheet. Now, there's a lot of different forms of character sheets. There will be um, some fillable PDFs that you guys can use if you want to do it digitally. Um, if you want to write it down digitally, you can do that too. Um, you also can use the actual character sheet that's in the book as well. Whichever works for you, whatever works, is the best. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. So, let's get started with the actual character creation. Um, if we take a look at the walkthrough, uh, the first thing we want to do is take note of where our attributes are and just the general layout of the sheet. At the top, you're going to notice that there's a section where you've got a place to put your name for your character. Uh, there's a place that just says A blank who with blank, and we'll get into that as we go. That is known as a descriptor and a hook. And that's going to be a sort of general statement about your character. It's almost like a phrase that will describe who your character is as a person. Um, and we're going to note that the attributes are right below that. So the attributes are what is going to sort of power the character. That is the foundation that everything is sort of built on. They're your natural attributes. They are what you can do, what you are physically capable of. And the skills are going to be what you can add to attributes to accomplish a task. It's sort of like your, your um, training in whatever it is that you're trying to do added to your natural aptitude for it. And then that is what generates how many dice you get to roll to, to see if you can succeed on a roll. So let's get started with the attributes. All attributes are going to start at 3, except for Rep and Psy. Um, most of the attributes are pretty self-explanatory as to what they kind of are. Strength is how strong your character is. Agility, how fast they are, how dexterous they are. Endurance, how sort of tough they are, how much damage they can take, how much health points. A lot of stuff is going to be determined by the endurance. The intuition are sort of your general normal senses. Those are where you're going to help you determine your perception, your reactions, that kind of thing. That's your intuition. Your logic is kind of your book smarts. That's going to help you do anything that's sort of um, memory related or it's going to help you figure out um, a math problem, that kind of thing. That's that's logic. Your will is how sort of willful you are. It's how, how much willpower you have. It's your ability to resist another person's influence. Your charisma is how charming you are. It's how able you are to use your words and your actions to sort of play up to a certain role or task. Your luck is an attribute that will determine however luck factors into various scenarios. It's a very powerful attribute, and it's one that you shouldn't overlook when we build our character. Reputation is how well-known we are. It's going to help us determine rank, possibly requisition more money, stuff like that. Psy, psionics, they are what help power various sort of quote-unquote spells, but they're mostly a a resource that you will be using to help you with psionic attacks and 
uh, things of that kind of nature. Okay, so everything starts at three except for psi and rep, which start at zero. Then we're going to choose a species. Now, when we're determining a species, um, I think it's important to have an end goal in mind. One thing you want to figure out is what kind of character do you want to play? In the world of 2000, uh, in the world of 2000 AD and Judge Dredd, um, it's going to be important where your uh, where your game master is going to set up the campaign. What are you doing? Is this a single adventure? Is this is this going to be a long running campaign? Is this going to be on one of the many worlds of 2000 AD? Is this going to be set in the Judge Dredd setting? It's important to think about where the setting is going to be before you make a decision like this as to how what kind of character you want to make. So for for um, for the sake of this video, I think it's best that we kind of keep a character that's relatively simple. And let's keep it in the world of Judge Dredd. So I'd like to create a judge. I think that's probably going to be one of the more common choices. So I think it's a good place for us to make this video is to do this for Judge Dredd. Um, and... Um, let's figure out what kind of judge we want to make before we kind of get started. I think I would like to make probably, again, let's think maybe pretty straightforward. I'm thinking probably a street judge kind of character, similar to Judge Dredd, maybe with obviously some eccentricities or uh, affectations of their own. So that being in mind, now I'm sort of ready to hop into the character creation. Um, first things first, we're going to choose a species. Um, pretty much all judges in the Dredge Dread um, setting are humans. Um, there are some clones in, um, in the setting. If we take a look at our options, we see that each species has different attribute bonuses. And every time we sort of stack on something onto this character, we get more attributes, we get more skills, get more exploits, and they help build the character. So it's a very, um, very much an iterative process where we're creating, you know, a, 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 a almost a new character with each sort of addition with these careers, and species, and everything. They're going to help build up a character into something that's probably very different from anything anybody else is making in the group. Even if you guys decide to play similar characters, they're probably still going to be pretty different. So... Um, if we go the human route for a judge, um, then we can choose humans or clones. If we look at their attributes, humans get a sort of wide variety of choices. Um, they're very versatile, and um, they have a lot of options there. They get some bonuses to luck. They get some bonuses to plus two to any one other attribute and plus one to a third attribute. And... Um, they also have the uh, skill choices of any. So they, they have a very wide breadth of skill choices that they can choose from. Their exploits, they have varied, which is the way that the attributes are described. And then there's enduring. Humans may not be the fastest or the strongest, but they're known for the resilience. Humans get a plus one to their 1d6 roll to shake off a temporary condition. So um, that's not bad at all. Clones are going to have a, another kind of wide breadth of attributes. Theirs are kind of spread across many different attributes with strength, agi, endurance, intuition, logic, and will. They also have skill choices in developmental and physical, and they have some more skill bonuses and fast healing. I really like the clone option, plus I think it's kind of interesting to just have a different kind of judge, a clone, maybe somebody that uh, has a very sort of interesting backstory. I'd like to do the clone one. So let's let's um, put in a clone as our species. They're considered a medium size. And in our descriptor, we can write a medium clone. The medium is usually implied, but I'm just going to put it in here for the sake of um, the video. Uh, you usually don't even have to put medium on the descriptor, but we'll put it in there just so that everybody knows where stuff is supposed to go. So uh, we're, we're a medium clone, and then we're going to take note of our attributes, and we're going to add them to the threes and zeros that we had already set up in the beginning. So as a clone, we're going to get a plus one to strength, agi, endurance, intuition, logic, and will. Next up, we're going to add three species skills. 
So for the clone, that's going to be developmental and physical. And you'll notice that they have brackets around them. That means that in the skill categories, we can choose anything from within those skill categories. The only restriction is we can't pick two of the same skill. So anything within those categories, but you can't pick two of the same thing to start off. So let's take a look at what we've got for developmental. Ambidexterity, bravery, concentration, fortitude, hardy, insight, meditation, perception, and resistance. Hmm. I like the idea of taking hardy. We can also take um, perception. Perception's really good. Um, honestly, a lot of these developmental skills are really solid. If we look at the physical ones, we've got acrobatics, carrying, climbing, high G, jumping, running, swimming, throwing, zero G. A lot of good stuff here. Um, these are some tough choices to start us off. A lot of these things are going to be very helpful when it comes to building the character. I think for our purposes, what I'd like to start off with is hardy. That is a sort of general skill that I find gets used a lot in some of the other what's old is new RPG games that I play. And uh, we're going to put that at grade one to start off. Next up, I'm going to take perception. Perception is an intuition-based skill most of the time, and that will help us determine things in our environment. That will help us see things. It will help us um, use all of our senses to try and find out something that's going on. And it's a skill that's very often used. Okay, and next up, uh, physical skills. I think what we're going to do here is take acrobatics. That will help us be a little bit more nimble. Another option I think here could have been maybe running. Running could have been really good. That can help us with our speed. Um, but we'll pick acrobatics for now. Okay. Next up, we're going to take all of the species exploits that are listed. In our case, that's going to be ingrained skill package and fast healing. Ingrained skill package is great because what it's going to do is it's going to give us uh, one category from combat, physical, and academic, and we can get four skills at one rank from the chosen category. Very, very nice way to get started. And um, that's going to help us get a lot of skills. Very, very nice. We're also going to take fast healing. And what that's going to do is we're going to get an extra 1d6 of health each day to heal. Very nice. So as far as the skills that we're going to take... We can go with combat, physical, or academic. As a judge, we're going to need a lot of combat skills, especially if we're going the street judge route. So we're going to be want to, we're we're going to want to be very varied in combat and physical type altercations. We're going to probably want some um, interrogation type skills, a lot of intimidation, and uh, we have that sort of judge dread archetype as the mold, right? We kind of know a direction we can go. We can make a few changes off to the side to sort of role play things out, maybe give our character a little bit of depth. I'm personally a very heavy role player. I like to do a lot of the role play type things. But you can make your character however you want. If you want to make your character a bit more mechanical and you want to make your character a bit more... Um, in terms of a lot of internet vernacular, there's the min-maxing, right? You can make a character that is very much as strong as you can possibly make them and not... Maybe role, like the specific role-playing aspects of the game aren't for you and you want to make a character that is just very mechanically sound. You can totally do that. Do whatever is right for you, your group, and your game master. So... Um, Let's decide on what we want to choose in terms of skills. Um, combat is great. We can learn a lot of weapon skills. Um, we can do physical, which will give us more general physical type skills. Academic, if we want to be a little bit more learned, we can do that. I think academic is definitely out. I'm leaning towards combat right now, so let's do combat. Um, and let's take four combat skills. Bite fighting sounds amazing, and I think uh, I think I missed whatever 
issues of, of Judge Dredd that was in, and now I desperately want to find those issues. <laughs> um, boxing, brawling, clubs, gunnery, heavy armor, heavy weapons, knives, light armor, martial arts. I think the general idea that I've got in my head is, is a sort of street judge. So let's let's go with a martial arts. And that'll go in as grade one. And we get to choose four of these. Uh, next up, let's go with pistols at grade one. Let's go with rifles, which will give us a sort of three range uh, skills, right? We're going to have something available in close combat, short to medium range combat, maybe medium to long range combat, which gives us a nice versatile options, uh, gives us a lot of versatile options in combat. Uh, next up, let's choose tactics. Tactics will help us with our initiative roles, which will help determine our order during combat. Um, and if we have a higher tactics score, that'll help us generally have more dice to roll when we roll for initiative. So tactics, that's where we're going to go with that. And that will be it for our exploits. We're done with the species. Next up, we're going to choose a hook and note it in our descriptor. Right now, we've got a medium clone who with blank. I think let's go with a judge with a sort of dark past. Let's figure that out as we make our character. Um, maybe something bad happened to them along the way through their through their uh, journey through being a judge. Let's let's say who with has a dark secret. Okay, 